G'day and welcome to Sumo's Projects. Today on this build, adding on to my custom uh, wall, my large, very large wall, I'm building some cabinetry. Um, so I've recently put some new tape onto my uh, table saw here. Now I can actually see what measurements I need. I'm using form ply for this project because I just love it and it's uh, really good to work with and has a good outcome a uh, good look to it so I'm cutting all the sides and the the straight the tops and bottoms and um, this is just a bit of work on the table saw with a sled and uh, things are progressing nicely at this stage I'm using pocket hole joinery uh, to put this all together because it's a it's a shop build and no one really worries too much about how the carcass works or looks. It's a, it's a whole purpose of having this project to make sure everything fits into an allocated spot. So that's what I'm aiming for here. One of the best things about using pocket hole joinery on shop builds is uh, it's so fast. Um, Using a cross between Craig and uh, nowadays Armatool, which is uh, some really good pocket hole joinery uh, jig that I found, and um, it's it's quite easy to set up. I have made a video if you're interested in having a look at that. Just search back through my um, back catalogue of videos. I commenced uh, by attaching the two ends to the bottom and then putting this uh, divider roughly in the centre and I'm building uh, off that. So the next step is to place this on, well it can be the top or the bottom, uh, let's call it the bottom and uh, using this Craig uh, absolutely brilliant uh, clamp, clamp it down and just put the rest of the screws in and make it all one uh, cabinet. So as often as I do when in my projects, uh, sometimes I don't measure twice, cut once, but that wasn't the issue here. Um, the issue was, it was a little bit low and I needed more storage, so I went through the similar process once again and cut some more form ply down and made another level, which was going to be uh, perfect for what I needed in this structure. I attached the, the new top and used just plain screws for that. Uh, also cutting a, a couple of little um, strips here, they're going to act as a stretcher and also uh, a place where I can secure this to the wall. Most of the things I've built up against this wall are basically um, coming out from the wall and then having a lot of the weight bearing load uh, of other things put on top of those and then attaching them into the wall. So all in all, the, the wall's not holding uh, a great deal of weight as such. So with that folks, it's uh, time to put things away. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did and you want to consider subscribing, I'd appreciate that. Hit the notification bell and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a message and um, Let's keep going on the next project. Cheers, everyone.